I am Sideburns, and I am the GCCP Cash Treasurer. What are your preferred pronouns? My preferred pronouns are they, them pronouns, but I really go by anything. I don't, uh, you know, give, give a fuck one way or another, really. My name is Cinnamon, and my preferred pronouns are either they or he. Hi, I am Sam the Hobo. I tend to go towards more of a gender fluidity um, type of spiel. I, I am a good sir. I am a gentleman. But then other times, I feel that I should be treated like a lady. Hi, I'm Lady Tramp. What are your preferred pronouns? Um, she, her, for now. What is your gender identity? Um, for lack of a more specific term, um, I identify as non-binary. Um, so I don't ever feel comfortable identifying with one gender or the other. I think that one of the problems a lot of people have with gender identity is the simplicity of asking one's gender identity. How old were you when you first realized your birth gender was wrong? Um, I can't really pinpoint an age. I just always remember when I was young, people would be like, hey, little girl, and I'd be like, no. So it's just sort of something that I always felt. And then, uh, like, as I got older, I learned that being trans was a thing. And I was like, oh, that might be me. Um, it actually took me a long time to realize it. Um, I didn't start transitioning into what I think my appropriate gender is until this year. So I'm 24 now, so I guess it would be 24. Um, I've kind of not really identified with anything until this point. What misconceptions do you think are made about the transgender community? <laughs> um, the biggest misconceptions about the transgender community, I think specifically, revolve around hormones. A lot of people think that starting testosterone or starting estrogen are actually going to change you inside when really all it does is change you physically. I feel like people a lot of the time think that it's kind of like an act, like a performance, because like people are really familiar with like drag queens, so they think that like trans women are drag queens, and that's not it. Like they think it's just some kind of like performance or an act, and it's not. It's who we are. I think the biggest misconception is people perceiving it as being a choice. I think the biggest one I see is people who don't believe someone can truly be trans. Um, and who have this idea that if you're, you know, if you're born with a penis, you are male. If you are born with a vagina, you are female. And I just want to look at them and say, even the science says you're wrong. I don't know what people don't understand about it. It's a very simple concept to me. People are the gender that they identify with. Gender doesn't mean anything in, in the grand scheme of things. I think that people just find so much solace in being able to draw conclusions about each other. So looking at someone and saying, oh, that's a girl, you immediately draw like nine conclusions about them. Um, people don't understand that gender doesn't have any bearing on love, and people don't understand that gender doesn't have any bearing on who you are as a person. What was the response when you came out? It kind of varied. Um, I had a lot of support when I came out, but my family wasn't quite as into it as I would have hoped, I suppose, but everybody wants their family to be supportive when they might not necessarily be. Hello, my name is Rosie Cheeks. How has Rocky helped you express yourself? Be more comfortable in my body and being a lot more comfortable expressing myself in ways that I can't in my normal life. I'll put it to you real simple on that one. When you look like this, and you can run around a room in women's lingerie, and actually have people applaud you, you will be amazed at what else you can do in life. Rocky has definitely had a big impact on me, gender, sexuality, and all of the things in between. Um, it's definitely helped me come out of my shell and be more comfortable with my physical appearance, even when I wasn't comfortable with my own gender and like what I identified as and how I looked. It still made me have a place that I could run around naked and it didn't really matter what I looked like anyway. Rocky has changed my life entirely. I would be nowhere near the person that I am. I would be nowhere near as comfortable with my gender identity if it weren't for Rocky. I may not have ever even fully realized um, my gender identity if it hadn't been for being surrounded by such a supportive group of people. It's definitely like exposed me to a lot more people who feel the same way as I do. Um, I feel like it's kind of very difficult to find other people in the not straight community and Rocky Horror has always been kind of like a mecca for people. I just feel like it kind of brings the community together. Being in a place like Rocky, 
it's one of those safe places where people can be themselves. It's one of the few places where I don't mind dressing up as feminine as I feel, and on the same note, feel just as comfortable if I'm portraying a masculine character that night. Um, Rocky has definitely helped me express myself um, with my confidence. It's just all around been a good experience. It's helped me come out of my shell a lot, and I'm sure that pretty much everybody you've talked to so far has said the same thing. It's definitely a good community if you're confused or you need some guidance or you just need friends to help you and like they're not going to judge you on your sexuality or your gender. It's just all kind of a blur and everybody's just a person here. And crawling on the planet's face. What do you have to Some insects. What's your so high? Call me.